Hello ladies and gentlemen. So as some of you know, I occasionally dabble in poetry. And when I'm working on a project and I'm super passionate about a project, sometimes I get so inspired that the creativity bursts out of me and I write a poem. Well, as many of you know, my next project that I'm currently working on, that I'm currently brainstorming and writing is none other than my long awaited Phantom of the Opera video. And wrote a poem about it. I think I've already made that point. Let me just dive right in. <clears throat> if you'll allow me to share this with you, that is. So this doesn't really have any uh, fancy title. Here we go. <clears throat> he watched her. He sang to her. Guided her. Half of his face concealed by a mask. Hiding his secrets. A mask which the world knows. He is famous, a legend. The world sings with him. He is her angel of music. But before he sang, he was silent. Even in silence, he was still her angel of music. The ink on pages first reported on his legend. And then in black and white silence, he scared the world. As her phantom, our phantom. The black and white, beautiful evil, which seduces her, seduces us, into his world of madness, the theater, give him what he wants, or pay the price. His demands are few, beauty and the beast in the mask. The world knows him because of his beautiful songs of anguish. She inspired his song. He inspired a man of fame to write his score so that the world would know him, love him, stand and cheer for him as he is left without his love, left alone. He removes his mask. All that we see fades to black. All we see is the famous mask, glowing white in the darkness. The boy who heard his beautiful music, he also spoke to me. Tell my secrets. The two would-be lovers glide over the lake, an iconic image, as they sing an iconic song. But that also happened in silence. Thank you, Carr, for ruining my moment. See, I can laugh at myself. <clears throat> or was I? But that also happened in silence. Even without song, he was still the phantom. Tell my secrets. The lake, surrounded by cement and brick. Hidden from the world, its secrets permanently hiding, now hiding in perfection. I ran out of paper as I was printing this, so I'm going to finish on Facebook. Because it no longer exists. Where was it? Tell my secrets. The drama that occurred in the world of black and white. People only scraped the tip of that iceberg. Why does nobody speak of it? Tell my secrets. The opera erected in black and white which I will never see with my eyes, I want to tell his secrets. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed it. So that was my Phantom of the Opera poem. I am working on the video. I have two minutes left remaining on my camera for this video, so I'm going to wrap it up here. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. Um, really, really appreciate it. It shares this video with its friends and family. It does this whenever it's told or else it gets the hose again. It gives this video a big thumbs up and it comments and subscribes if it hasn't already. Thank you guys, I love you all, have a fantastic day, night, and remember, the Phantom of the Opera is here, inside your mind. Bye bye, love you.